Hey there, Shadow Coast here, and we are finally back to playing Battletech. I apologize, I have been busy with work, traveling, but we are back. I, I skipped about five minutes of housekeeping stuff. I didn't think you guys would find that too interesting. Uh, it took about 20, I think 27 days to repair. Um, at the end of the last episode, we took a beating from the priority mission, but we're back up and running. Um, I was taking a look. We got a little creative with our... Um, Vindicator. I don't know if I actually like this setup, but I don't want to wait any longer. I do want to jump in. We're going to take on a two skull battle. I think we should be well prepared for this. Um, we have a nice mix of medium and heavy mechs. I We're going to go with two out of nine salvage. Uh, I think this is good. I did take a look. We're, we're not ready to upgrade any of the skills yet. Um, I think we're trying to get Shadow Coast to work towards, I want to say, Bulwark or a multi-shot. Have to kind of decide. And then um, we are going to probably go Sure Footing or the plus one evasion for Medusa. Um, I, I, I'm i not sure how we're going to kind of set up the overall Lance yet. We're, we'll see as we go. We just have to run so many missions because we did crank up the difficulty level, so they are kind of low, low skill points are generated. So this is a battle. They probably have reinforcements coming. Um, small hitbox. I'm just trying to figure out. All right. I bet the reinforcements are going to come from over here, probably. I if we go down here they're gonna have the high ground which we don't want we could come up here and meet them but then if the reinforcements come over here we could get flanked um, the strategy is we, we wanna limit the number of mechs that are firing at us I know Captain Obvious um, at any given time so I'm just trying to think about if we do come up here, do we have enough firepower to kind of push through? They're over here. If the reinforcements are back here, then that poses an interesting question. I hope they come over here because we can kind of move this way. But if they come from back here and we just have eight mechs bearing down on us, could kind of back up. It's just the the terrain doesn't really work to our advantage. So I standing by. I think I want to push down here a little bit and see if we can kind of actually figure out. If we can trigger the reinforcements and know where they're coming from. That'll be. That'll be helpful. Let's see. Let's see where they are. Hmm. I copy. We're going to move towards them. Reporting enemy oh! Contact. Is that the reinforcement or just... It's not a reinforcement. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Okay, like so the reinforcements. Okay, so. Hmm. Interesting. Standing by. Whoa, hunchback. Where is the hunchback? Hunchbacks are scary. So the hunchback is down here. Waiting for order. Oh wow. Um Waiting on you, Commander. We're going all in on the hunchback guys. Um and we're gonna move over here and use this part of the map 
to our advantage because they have a bunch of guys up there. But Hunchback, we're gonna do full alphas. Uh, looks like he's reduced. Um, reduced damage by 40%. Ah, uh, we really needed that to connect. Shadow Ghost. Come on. Either Corum or take out that, that torso. Ah. Line of sight. Ready for order. All right. Yep. That's the scary one. Ah, uh, he's gonna get a go. I bet. No, we don't have enough resolve to. All right, we're gonna keep moving over here. Um, Good to go. Moving out. I think the Vindicator does a fair amount of damage. No, keep hitting his box. Ah. Um, so if you guys are watching, I'm trying to angle it so when we kind of look at them, they're going to inherently hit that right side. Uh, this torso has a gazillion medium lasers, and unfortunately we're not hitting them. Cicada, ow, leave Shadow Ghost alone. Now you can see here, refire is up. I don't care. I really just want to try to. Ah, oh, wrong shoulder, bro. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Is that a blackjack? Probably. So let's see what he does. He entrenches. Hmm. I think I might have played this wrong, guys. They now have high ground advantage, and they've effectively flanked us. We could withdraw, or... What's up, boss? We're gonna try to keep them in front of us. Roger that. Still trying to take Target this guy down. Um, and then we're gonna try to sprint back here. Let's make him chase us. Come on, Centurion. So AC-10 does have refire plus two. We're gonna fire it one more time. Nice. Scored a critical hit. Oh, so close to taking his head off. That would have been awesome. Um. We're 
just trying to take out the hunchback. Take a major weapon off the field. Um, I would have loved to salvage them, Did but we have too many enemies on the field. We can't let them wear us down. So we're going to do some um, sprinting. We're going to kind of come down here. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to force them to chase us. And as they're chasing us, the goal is to get one at a time. So we just kind of post up and uh, force fire them down. Because they have a bunch of lights, but I think they, they have a probably a... a um, My armor has ripped off. Order. Yeah, I'm okay doing this. Gonna do evasion. Next Medusa. Not much armor left in that location. Uh, the Vindicator is fully up, so. Is that a crab? I bet that's a crab. So we'll try to salvage that. Shadow Coast. Let's see if this strategy works. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. Um. Time to fly. Uh -huh. All right. So we're gonna move Medusa first. Man, they just have so many mechs, so they have, what, seven mechs? That's a lot. Ow. Makes us, you know, kind of forces us into using these kind of cheesy tactics. But we can't just sit there, take the damage, and, um, you know, take them on all together. We're, we're, we have to try to isolate and focus fire them down one at a time. That's gonna be the the key. Ah, come on. Oof, your back's turned too. Losing on Receiving you. Shadow Coast back. We're going to create a firing line here. Damage minimal. Um. Look at all those bad guys. What can I do for you? I should have waited. Should have checked down, guys. What the hell was I thinking? Ah, uh, mistake. Mistake. Alright. Gonna take down the cicada. If it keeps pushing forward. So we do have Behemoth front with Bulwark. Look 
looks like they have the higher ground and can hit us. You know, one option is... We can pull back further. But I think, uh, yeah, well played, sirs. They can kind of. Like they can kind of hit us wherever we go. Oh, and we're at we're at the boundary. Oh crap. Okay. All right. Well. I hear ya. It's where we make our last stand, guys. Let's make it good. Let's see if we can take these guys out one by one. Commander. Okay, so Behemoth's gonna have to move back. I think maybe we get Medusa Bulwark too, honestly. I, th I think that's a... Um, So we're gonna brace. So we're gonna keep moving back a little bit. Let's see if we can take out some of these pesky lights. Then it'll help from an angling perspective. Their damage is starting that up. My internals are feeding and feeding. Trying to use the map to our advantage. We yeah, are. Commander. Oops. Ready for orders. Let's wait on resolve. Firing all Hoping we get lucky. Alright, so we're gonna move. Whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's a crab with the two large lasers.
one one less to worry about. Trying to flank us. Observing action. Ready for orders. On my way. Oh, this would be epic. Nice, Medusa. So, slowly evening the playing field. So we're going to reserve down here. Let's make them come to us. It is a crab. We would love a crab. So let's... um. Blackjack. Alright, so we're gonna try to. Well, let's see where the crab position. Man, they just have so many mechs. Alright, so let's. We're actually. Let's take a step back. They have two. They have five left. So we have one, two, three, four. So fifth one's probably around there somewhere. So we're going to push and try to take out the blackjack, who's a defender. We're going to try to incapacitate the crab. So let's Good to go. let's actually do this. So this is your right arm. here. I'm going to vigilance you because everyone's going to get behind you. And you're going to let them have it. So we're going to try to blow up the blackjack, make the crab come in, circle the crab, and then see what we can do to um, take it out. So this is going to be a hot out some of the weapons. Yeah, Shadow Coast. What's the refire rate? One. Um... that reset we are trying to take this guy out Medusa 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 I'm kind of letting the cicada get behind us which is not the best strategy we're trying to core this guy so let's well, not ideal um, we took out half the weapons. That's a that's a win. Uh, the locust coming in. The locust with a standing by surprising melee attack.
so we're using this left shoulder sort of oh no I didn't see that that wasn't direct line of sight damn it that was not good Screw that up, guys. Oh, what's that? I not quite see. Burn. Engaging We're gonna burn some uh, heat off or cool off some heat. All right. Crabs there. Good to go. What we're trying to do. Take this guy out. Um, Time to die. Oh, so, okay, it worked. Glitch is a big hero. Okay, so what is that? Oh, hello. Cicada did not like that. All right, I think we're doing fairly well, guys. Down to three mechs left. Uh, heavily damaged Takeda, the crab, and a Kentaro. Oh, brother. Kentaro. Orders. Um, no, I'm sorry, we have four left. Got ahead of myself. Um... going for weapons. We're hoping to hit the side torso. Ah, missed. That really sucks. Gotta watch those refire penalties. Kintaro, we want to keep at range. Objective complete. Three mechs left. We. Uh, it's catching up. Yeah, that's what we don't want to have happen. Kintaro's run hot, though. Yes, you did glitch. Yes, you did. Alright. Nice! Did you see that? Melee. To the core. All right, now it's four on two. We don't need the Kentaro. We do want the crab. I think it's just a fun mech. Ow! No, not the right arm. Man, we keep losing that right arm. I don't. I think the reason we had a large laser on it is because we could not get a PPC. Um. Not great hit percentages. 
So we're going to try to come in from the different sides. Good to go. Um, so what you can see we're trying to do here is salvage this mech. Off a laser. Ow. Okay. All right. We'll get you out of there. Can't take many more hits like that. Engaging We're jumping subject. behind. see I mean we can if we can core the Kentaro I'm happy with that So close. Receiving. Trying to Taking off evasion pips. No right. damage detected. So, the question is alright, we do gotta go again. Quite frankly, um. Nice. Kentaro down. It's one heck of a battle, guys. Um. Now we're going to try to salvage if we can. Um, the crab. Ah, oh, so close to like. Trying to, trying to incur pilot injuries. We need three. One. Order. One structural. E. Okay. Roger that. Little. So the legs beat up too, which is great. Responding in kind. Let's um. My armor's getting stripped off. Gonna come from this side. Try to beat up this side of um. So Waiting for orders. we've softened the sides. Come on, great. That's a critical hit. Medusa. What are we at? 
plus two refire. Um, so we're going to take this off. What's the leg need? 36. So. Got the leg. We need one more pilot injury. Beautiful guys, three salvage for the crab. We took a lot of damage. Our Vindicator will be back under repair for another month, um, but we got it done. So 223,000, um, fair amount of damage across the board. The Vindicator took the most. We lost a large laser, which is costly, and a medium laser. Um, you can see here, Glitch did a lot of the heavy lifting with the finishing kills. Um, although Behemoth took a ton of damage. Uh, let's see. We want the crab. Hello, crab. And we're going to hope that we get the third piece. And we did. So we are three out of five for the crab, guys. Um, which is fantastic. So that was one heck of a battle. Um, an epic battle, nonetheless. But we made it through. We kept all our pilots alive, and we got three salvage from a, a crab. Um, it is, I believe, a medium mech. We will take a look. Let's Welcome take a look at our salvage. Here. I should remember this, but it's been a little while. Yeah, the crab's a 50 tonner. Uh, two large lasers, though. It's kind of like a sniping class um, mech. So the reason I'm getting so excited about this is nothing new, but this is Flashpoint content. I'm going to highlight that. Um, the Crab is one of my favorite looking mechs. I think it looks awesome. If you guys watch my other series, you know I'm a huge King Crab fan. Um, I just think they look so cool. Uh, and I think the King Crab's awesome. Dual AC 20s. Uh, that's got to be scary, right? Crab 27s. Uh, fulfill an oft overlooked role that of a skirmisher with firepower wielding strong energy weapons the crab delivers a punch at nearly all ranges with no ammunition constraints the blend of firepower heat efficiency and speed makes the crab the perfect mech to raid enemy position so we're definitely going to try to grab one let's go back um so we're going to repair the shadow hawk repair the centurion and our poor, poor Vindicator is just taking a beating glitch. Um, definitely doing well. So we're going to throw another large laser in there. Because that's all we have. And a medium laser, which we lost. We're going to repair all. And that's, that's it. So only 10 days. We do have the mech tech uh, upgrade at 7. Um, let's take a look at missions. Uh, we can we can try for that, but we'll do that in the next episode. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, name selection. We're still Shadow Coast Marauders. I am looking for name suggestions. Please post. Let me know. Um, I will take one of the uh, recommended company names. This is going to be a full campaign, and the other day it was announced uh, Urban Warfare will be coming out uh, relatively soon here. I'm very excited for that, so we'll have Flashpoint content um, plus the urban um, components, which I think should flow through the main Arana Restoration campaign towards the end, assuming I don't critically screw up one of the main mission lines uh, and end the entire campaign. We are in Iron Man mode. 
Um, so we do have to be a little bit conservative in our approach. I am so excited. My all-time favorite mech is the Raven. Um, it will include the Raven. Could not be more ecstatic for it. Uh, I am looking to learn more. Um, I'm hoping it's the 3L variant, which I believe you can load two large lasers on that puppy, um, at least in MechWarrior Online. So we'll see how that works uh, in, in Battletech here, uh, but I'm looking forward to some electronic warfare coming up in an urban setting. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate the support, and we'll see you in the next one.